What's going on, all my fellow gamers? This is BC Draven here, and we are about to start a new game. Penumbra Overture is the name of it. I got it in a collection. It's got three games to it. It's got this one, and Requiem, and Black Plague. I'm hoping that I'm going to play them in order. I think this is the first one. I'm pretty sure it's the first one, actually. But I'm going to go ahead and... Um, try a new game this is by the guys that done amnesia it's uh before amnesia so it's an earlier game I'm not sure exactly what year it's uh done but i'll try to find that out and put it in the description but let's go ahead and get this game started this music's like really loud but i checked the options and for some reason you can't do anything with the sound you can't make it go up or down so it's set at 100 i mean why have a sound option if you can't do anything with it but my mouse is a little wonky on this too as usual i am using the uh playstation 3 controller i've got all the buttons mapped out i may have to dial this um setting down a little bit but let's go ahead and get it started story begin in february year of 2000 uh that's in the past already for my part in this allegory I'm not going to make the same mistakes my father made. Sure. How would vanish from my mother's life before I was even in it. So when he sent me a letter a few days after mum's funeral, it was the first I'd ever heard from him. Nice. But he was dead. Writing from beyond the grave must be a genetic habit in my bloodline. Sounds reasonable. His letter contained a key, instructions, pleas for forgiveness. I figured the dead don't have much use for absolution, so I turned to his prophetic passing, which he inexplicably expected to come any day. Uh-huh. Clearly averse to explanations. My he lived a thug life, obviously. To a bank on Mayfair I'd never even heard of. In that bank was a safety deposit box in his name and myself as executor. Of course, I went as. Of he course. Knew I would. Curiosity, I man. I discovered that despite the evidence, he'd been legally declared dead almost 30 years ago. What? So the old book and collection of notes I found had, in the eyes of the law, been mine all this time. Uh huh. My father's instructions were to burn the documents, raise no further questions. But that was his error. No man's immune to the shameful trappings of curiosity, and my humanity got the better of it. Humanity. Me. The university I taught at. I think it was curiosity, to, not humanity. Physics and linguistics. I represented the first, and the man who stood for the second was stumped by my recent acquisition. The book was indecipherable. The notes, however, showed a location somewhere in uninhabited northern Greenland. So we're going to Greenland? It took me almost a year to book the last flight I'd ever take. As I watched civilization disappear along with Heathrow, I realized my father had disappeared three decades ago, almost to the day. And I considered in turn what it was that I was leaving behind. What are you leaving? We landed on a strip of ice a few feet wide, and within minutes I was pulling away on a chartered boat, beginning the 12 hour journey that would lead me into my past. And basically, you got a ghost letter from your dad, and we're going on a treasure hunt. Is that what you're telling me? Almost docked. I'd better stow my gear. It may be far from home. I may be far from home, but chances are I can still pick things up using the left mouse. Yes, your hand is called left mouse. And I can take a closer look using the right mouse. Apparently, that's your other hand. All right, man. Uh, book. It's always good to have a notebook to jot interesting things down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I left my torch. Torch? We're in the 2000s, man. Why you got a torch? I guess he's talking about here. Yep. Uh, pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. There it is. Hopefully it works. Yep, it works. We are settled, man. I always travel, padlock, key, so what else we got in here? Got some liquor, nope, get out of here. Oh, another note. Just a quick note before you set sail and leave me once again, Eric. Is my Eric? There is Eric. Am I Eric? I never saw heard a name. I left you a little something to remember me by in the chest at the foot of your bed. I really don't know why you still have 
Still only have one bed on board. Taking shifts. What? Taking shifts because of it is no way to get your rest. But what does a fisherman's wife know it? A life at sea. Oh, so I must be Eric and this must be his homie. His, uh, woman. Praying every night you may catch soon. I uh, love you. Watch those overalls of them. Because they stunk. I know you'll get them covered in assorted fish parts. What am I, wallowing in fish now? Better still leave knowing they've been washed. Uh, don't say anything. Stow them well in the ice and I'll do something special with them to celebrate with... Okay. Get out of here. I don't know what that meant. Didn't she say she left something in the chest? I don't see anything but liquor. That bitch wants me to get fucked up. Can I do anything with that? Playboy posters, uh-huh. I hear you. Pretty odorous. I guess so if you got Playboy posters on the back of your headboard. I would probably have a smelly bed, too. <laughs> uh, I guess open her up. What we got here? Some extra set of batteries. Oh, great. Damn batteries for flashlight. Run out of batteries. Excess with a G. What is that? Oh, you aren't going to tell me what that is? Got anything else in here? Fog closed down among us. Haven't. Not even worth thinking. Got some fish over there. Ah. Stepped off the boat, setting out into the blizzard that had formed around me. I realized how ugly... Okay, I can go. Screw your story, man. So cold. Don't know where I am. Need shelter soon. Well, let's get it. What are we waiting on? Let me go. Oh, okay. Okay. Cool, I can hear his footsteps in the um, snow. Somewhat of an animal. Oh, we got rocks. Nothing. And... What in the hell is that? I don't care. I don't need shelter. What you got? I guess it's frozen. Maybe these rocks up here. Break the ice off. I don't think I have anything in my inventory. Just to... Why did I pick up the padlock? Whatever. Can I grab you? Why don't I have a crosshair? That's kind of... That's kind of dumb. Crosshairs help out. So I can see what I'm pointing at. Instead of randomly going over an object until a hand appears. Uh, uh, there we go. Now what? Turn it? That would be it. What did I say this guy's name was? Totally forgot already. Eric. Have to remember your name, man. Got used to saying Daniel and Amnesia. I knew his name. He told me at the beginning. This guy didn't want you to know. Hello? Hello? Somebody's already whispering to him. You almost had a bad trip there. Jesus, my head. I can't believe that I fell that far and survived. Well, you did. Turn on this flashlight so we can see something. That wasn't that far of a fall. Something must be in the way. What do we got here? Steel rod. Is that a weapon? Ah. A flare. Anything? There's another flare. Cool. I can actually move the barrels in here. 
What have we got in here? Boxes of ammunition. What are we in a war bunker? Can I do anything with that? What is that? Sardines? Get out of here. Hammer. Let's see. I can swing the hammer if I hold left mouse. I can make a back swing by pulling the mouse right. Follow through by pushing left. Works the opposite. Pull back and then thrust him forward. Produces a stabbing motion. So I'm going to be fighting with a hammer? Should be able to look around. What are you talking about? Okay, I got it equipped. Right, left. Down, up. I got you, man. I'm not sure how good of a weapon a hammer is going to be, though. Okay, what have you got? Metal shelf with some boards behind it. Can I break them? There we go. How do I get back there? Okay. I forgot I put... There we go. Forgot I put the holster weapon on my L3 button. I think that... Yeah, I can put that into slot 1. I don't think anything else needs to be up there. Let's see what's in here. Got all kind of different paths. What's this way? And then we got... That's the same room. Okay, it just all circles back around. I see. So what have we got in here? Hey! What the fuck? Is that the water monster? <laughs> I don't see anything. It's kind of freaky. What have you... Looks like some kind of industrial mechanism, although there's a hole in the center, no way to operate it. Okay. Get out of here, barrel. Now where does this go? Try this way. Okay, that's the entrance that was blocked. So what do I do here? Industrial mechanism. Uh, the metal rod, maybe? All right, I got it going. Now what do you do? Keep going. Ah. Uh, descending into 100 feet below ground. 100 feet? What? Two solid metal hatches located in remote Arctic wilderness. Didn't know what to expect. Feel something I haven't felt as I was a child. Okay, we'll get out of here. If anybody wants to read that in full as with the uh, amnesia playthrough, just go ahead and pause right there. Because I am not going to... Whoa. Whoa. Could be anything living down here. Caution and stealth. Low and out of sight. Hide in the shadows. Blue tint to my vision. Better turn off light sources. But as I was saying, there's a map. What does that say? Explosives. Workshop, storage, and office. But yeah, I'm not going to waste y'all's time by sitting there with, uh, you know, reading long, drawn-out text. Because I'm sure that that would be just totally boring for your guys. But I'll leave it on the screen for a while, you know, and just get the gist of it. What did that say? Office. So, um... Uh, you guys can pause if you want to read it completely, you know. So I don't want to, if anybody does want to read it, I don't want to, you know, have them lose that chance. What is this? 
Uh, regular shipment received. Wounded figure is no cause for concern back in London. Uh-huh. Blowing off a couple of fingers. Dynamites, bayonets, industrial ice pick. Where was the ice pick whenever I had to get in there, you know? Pair of reading glasses. Artifact buried in the earth, huh? What artifact? What is this? Backstrin? A key? Awesome. Copenhagen, Denmark. I'm assuming Copenhagen, Denmark. No, University of Copenhagen. Forty-six deaths per one hundred thousand populace compared to the national average of twenty-nine. Inuit spirits known as the Turngrot, Gat, Turngat, living in the mountains. Chemical testing and studies. I don't know what you're talking about, man. Nothing. Middle. I said middle. Nothing. Now what is this thing? Oh, that's like a thing in amnesia that would take you down a little ton, a hallway, or it took you down a hallway once at least. Old man clutching something unseen. He is strange, and yet he is no stranger. Never seen before, still I know this man's name is Howard. I call him Father. Faja! Uh, what the hell just happened? You just, uh, took a hit of the liquor there, son. Uh, okay. Old timey, uh, typewriter here. What you got? Uh, come on. What is that? Beef jerky? Well, I guess it's, uh, better than nothing. In case you get hungry out here. I would want something warmer, though. Flare. What you got? Need a key. Well, I have a key, dear sir. What you? Book of Explosives, 1923 edition. Just a string gunpowder. The chemicals will stain clothing and always do concerned as advised. I need string, preferably cotton, black gunpowder, and backstring. I have backstring, so I know I know what that does. Rolled in the gunpowder, left to dry at least a couple of minutes before use. Old box of explosives. Diamias earth. Nitroglycerin. And sodium carbonate. I don't care when TNT was discovered. Why are you giving me a history of TNT here? Well, I guess it was a big box of explosives. 101. What's you? Painkillers. Okay. Why are you giving me painkillers? Is that more beef jerky? Yep, yep. I wonder if it's going to be like it was in Amnesia, where I had... I don't even remember what it was, but I never used it. You know, because you really never fought the monster, so... There was, like, no point in having a healing item. I don't know if it's going to be like that in this or not. I think my batteries are... yeah. I can see pretty well in here, workshop. What the fuck? Oh, get in the corner. What is that? Is that a dog?
Okay. I think I should just... Yeah, I'll light that torch. In case I gotta come back this way. <laughs> oh my god, I see him too. He is wiggling his ass on up here. <laughs> 